Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video, we are going to take a look at Android 15 on our beloved Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. So without wasting any time, let's take a look at it. So guys, this is Lineage OS 22, which is based on Android 15. If you can see about phone is in here, going down, Android version 15. And it says Android 15, Lineage OS 22 and we get November security patch. This is the Android 15 Easter Lego and Android 15 or Android V stands for Vanilla Ice Cream which is the code name for Android 15. So guys starting with the home screen, this is the basic home screen. We get the dock and the apps, uh, yeah just normal stuff, the widgets and all the Google feed screen. And let's take a look at the wallpapers in style and moving to change wallpapers, you get default on device wallpapers and you can choose from a lot of colors. This is not black boxes, these are some dark and black wallpapers so yeah you can see that uh, through installing this rom this is the launcher these are the apps present we also do have dolby atmos uh this uh, pre-installed so yeah you can customize and these are the options the options which are disabled it's because we are not connected to any earphone or headphone so that's why and now let's move into settings here inside the settings as you can see the settings is so configured and uh, and categorize into segments uh, maybe something which could have got a title here it would have been easier for people to understand what segment they are choosing this has this is some additional stuff security and privacy and accessibility which is some uh, special stuff uh, uh, we get this is the system stuff this is the customization stuff you can change a lot of stuff here display sound notifications and you can configure a lot of stuff and this is network and connection so this could have been better but yeah it's uh like let's see if we get some more updates on android 15 changing and through but yeah that is for the options and home screen basic stuff now if you move into the system tab we get some additional settings which are uh, uh, basic to the lineage os so as you can see button settings you can en enable on screen nav bar you can also uh, customize the hardware buttons which these three are present on the redmi note 4 then status bar we have the status bar customization basic customization which is presented by lineage os and gestures uh, in gestures we have these all these gestures uh, like these are some old features only there is nothing new which you can just like compare with android 14 but yeah this is a version upgrade and you can see a lot of improvements and you have security updates that are up to date so yeah for choosing a custom rom you should always be up to date because we get latest security patches and till this device is getting updates we can be just you know be lucky and freshen up for with the newest android experience so yeah so guys that was it for all the features and stuff and this was just a quick peek uh, like a sneak peek and quick look uh, not something we're going into detail but yeah it's android 15 a version upgrade uh, we have uh, been getting latest security updates too like november this is december i know but yeah you will get another update soon with the latest security patch so don't uh, be worried about that at all and yep that is it and finally i can conclude and say that this is a like a good upgrade if you are on lineage 21 if you are using custom roms and if you are using the latest one then you should definitely try this and stay on it because this is totally stable i don't have a sim card to show you the network and vld stuff but everything is working fine whatever the basic stuff you need to work is working fine there is no bugs or something some minor issues might happen this is android 15 a very early and first stage build for the lineage 22 so some feature bug software wise bug might happen but otherwise all the functions are working totally fine so it's a thumbs up and you guys should definitely try this on your redmi note 4 and all the links all the things uh, you need are in the description so please check that out also if you want help regarding installation uh, push the uh, thing down in the comment section and now let's move to the installation because with, that is the uh, most uh, difficult stuff for some people and my hardware key the power key is not functioning well so i will just meet you down uh, directly into the twrp so power off your device and press the volume up and power for the twrp it will take me some attempts so yeah let's go uh, guys a simple note for you that if your hardware key is not functioning properly like it's not working functioning properly for me since a lot of uh, months then you can easily use this software advanced uh, reboot option to reboot into recovery easily so yeah that's one tip for you guys for this video
So guys, after rebooting it to DRP, you have to wipe your older ROM, whatever the old ROM is, Dalvik, Kate, System, Vendor, and uh, Data. These are the options you have to wipe, swipe to wipe. Go to install, and install the Lineage OS zip, add more zips, mind the GApps. So this might take a while, like a few two to three minutes. The installation is done. You just have to reboot system and oh, so, and wait for the uh, device to load the Lineage OS boot animation. So guys, here we go. The boot animation of Lineage OS 22 and it means you have successfully installed Lineage OS 22, which is based on your 15 on your Redmi Note 4. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys like the video. If yes, press the like button. If not, the dislike button is already there. You can press it. Also subscribe if you want to watch some more videos on this device or any other device. And also if you have any feedback, you can contact, uh, uh, sorry, not contact. You can just press it down below in the comment section. And that's it. Goodbye. See you guys in the next one.